Now to that violent attack in the hallways of Central Islip High School. A student attacked back on St. Patrick's Day and has not been back since. And her father is now suing the school district, claiming they didn't do enough to protect his daughter. News 4's Greg Sergal live in Central Islip with the latest there. Hi, Greg. Hey, Natalie, and as you guys said, the whole incident caught on cell phone video. The victim's dad saying the cell phone video was actually taken by a male student who had threatened his daughter and then provoked the attack by one of his daughter's female classmates. The video then posted to social media, making a difficult situation even worse. This is cell phone video of the alleged assault in a hallway of Central Islip High School. Video later posted to social media where the victim's dad first saw it. When I seen the video through uh, social media, I was even more infuriated because I noticed that my daughter didn't have any help. Ezra Hoyt's daughter is 14 and Suffolk police say she suffered minor injuries in the March 17th incident. There's no teachers here, just go. Hoyt says the beating was unprovoked and police confirm the 14-year-old alleged attacker was arrested for assault. Emotionally, she's like just distraught. Hoyt says his daughter hasn't been back to school since and may never return. The father of two is now planning to sue Central Islip schools for $2 million, claiming the district was negligent in failing to prevent or stop the alleged assault. I just want her to be um, protected and a stricter judgment for these kids so it won't happen. Central Islip schools declined comment on the incident, citing the pending lawsuit. But in a statement, the district did say it seeks to avoid the consequences of student altercations by proactive approaches to establishing a school climate free of physical engagements. This mom agrees. It definitely um, is an isolated incident because for the most part, they are very, very um, on top of everything. A high school senior also told us that he's seen a marked decline in fights here at the high school. But none of that is consolation to Ezra Hoyt, who says his daughter should have been protected from what happened. We're live in Central Islip. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.